All right, what's going on, ladies, gentlemen, and those who are confused? My name is Matt, and welcome to my video on the Black Ops 3 reveal. Yes, I know everybody probably knows by now, and I don't want to spend much time talking about how excited I am about it, because obviously I'm excited, but I don't want to sound too much like Team Art. So um, I just basically wanted to talk to you guys today about uh, what this means going forward, I think, and what we can kind of expect in the coming weeks and months and what's been going on in the past uh, few hours in terms of uh, how I'm going to be involved with it. So I've actually, I'm actually a mod now on r slash black ops three, and it's basically going to be the hub for, uh, for everything on the public side of things or the, it's going to be like the main subreddit for, uh, for the game. And we've been talking with, uh, cause, cause there's old mods from the other subreddits that are, uh, they were trying to, use their own subreddit for it but ours kind of picked up before theirs did so they're kind of coming on board with us now or a couple of them are anyway to give us uh give us a hand and uh and shout out to those guys for for uh like being cooperative with us and all that kind of thing because you know the main subreddits have been run by these guys for a couple of years now and i think they've done a pretty good job um i think there's a lot of stuff they could have done a little differently uh, but that's besides the point. Uh, I'm just glad that they're, uh, you know, on our side now. And we're not going to have like battles between r slash Black Ops 3 and r slash BO3. Um, I'm glad we can kind of all see that uh, it's better to keep our community in one space, uh, as you might say. And I hope that uh, that we can kind of bridge the gap a little bit between, you know, the public and competitive communities. I know it won't ever fully happen, but I believe that, you know, the more that we can do to, to bridge the gap between those two communities, the better, um, you know, it looks like, you know, Treyarch's going to be doing the same thing as well. Um, I hope they're going to be doing the same thing as well. I mean, with Vonderhaar at the helm, uh, there's a lot to be said for, uh, for what they can do in terms of, uh, in terms of making, uh, public matches and competitive, uh, a little closer together. So hopefully that'll be the case. Anyway, long story short, uh, I'm a mod there along with, uh, a couple of guys from, uh, our slash optic gaming uh a couple of guys who uh, you know were on the sub before that and then a uh one guy from cog competitive slop nessie uh, i'm sure a lot of you guys know him uh, he's a really good guy i'm excited to to work more closely with him on this and then uh another couple of guys from the uh the old main subreddits we're gonna be working together over the next few weeks to really get things nailed down and uh we're working on a full design overhaul right now so uh, you guys can look forward to that and yeah in terms of uh you know what this big reveal means for for us uh you know it's it, looking like we're gonna get something a little more substantial in the 26 you know they have a worldwide reveal around this time around that time every year like right at the end of april or beginning of may so i mean it'll be probably a more full reveal of the campaign we we likely won't get any uh, multiplayer stuff until i think it's usually like august or something like that there's usually the big multiplayer reveal in august so you know hopefully around then we'll start to see um what multiplayer is going to look like what uh, if there's going to be you know league play and stuff like that but uh, i'm hoping to learn from the the worldwide reveal on the 26th i'm hoping to learn um at least some core gameplay mechanics uh maybe like a time period that's set in so we can get an idea of you know what the what the guns are going to be like um but uh, I think the one thing that most people are worried about right now is the exosuit thing. And just to put my two cents in on the subject, I think they need to go. Um, I don't think they are uh, competitive, I guess. I think it reduces the skill gap. I know a lot of people are saying that it increases it. But I think, you know, in a way, of course, the movement does increase the skill gap a little bit because, you know, you have to be good at, at dashing around. But I think there's kind of like there's kind of a skill ceiling with the exosuit and that you can only do so much with it. And everybody's kind of gotten to the point now where, you know, they can just do whatever. And uh, everybody's kind of bouncing around, just peeing in each other's butts. And uh, it's really hard to say whether or not that, uh, you know, the exosuit is really a good thing for, for, for Call of Duty. I don't think so. I really don't think so. Uh, one thing that it really, uh, you know, impacts is, is camera glitching. And uh, if you're not aware of what that is, it's just basically like when you run through a door, you're able to uh, 
you know, see the enemy before they can actually see you. So a lot of the time you'll be on the receiving end of that where somebody will just jump out of a doorway or in this game, dash out of a doorway and you just literally have no chance against them. Um, so hopefully that, hopefully that won't be in Black Ops 3 uh, just because the camera glitching is so bad. And the fact that you can't track people uh, moving so f moving as fast as they do with the with the exosuits is a is a real issue as well because you literally can't move your fingers fast enough on the controller to track somebody moving in an exosuit so it makes it really tough um to actually stay on target and hit people even if you have a good shot even if you are like some of the best players in the world like you'll see the, the pros miss shots all the time just because of the movement in the game and it's like I don't really understand how that can be seen as competitive in a, in a public or a competitive setting. Um, it just uh, it just doesn't seem to me like it should be in Call of Duty. I think it should be reserved for you know other games like Titanfall, Halo, that kind of shit. So, anyways, those are kind of my general thoughts and opinions on uh, on the reveal today and a little update with what's going on uh, on the Reddit side of things. So. Uh, yeah, hopefully uh, we're going to get more information uh, leading up to the 26th. And then uh, on the 26th, hopefully we'll get something really big. So I want to thank you guys for watching the video. Uh, you can check out the video on the screen if you haven't seen that one yet. But uh, that's all I want to say for today, guys. I'll talk to you later.